Are you looking for some unique DIYs that could be used for gifts or decor or even to sell? Well, stay tuned. Hi, my name is Leslie and welcome to Happy Tuesday where we do crafts and DIYs and home decor and more. Now don't forget to stick around until the very end. I'll have a hint on one of next week's projects. So let's get started. Now let's take a quick preview into this week's projects and here are all seven. Aren't they stunning? And that will bring us to project number one. This is actually a bookmark. So we are going to start and we're using a thicker wire for this. Now all the wire that we'll be using today will be between 18 and 20 gauge. But even if the gauge is the same, the wire thickness is different. So for a project that you want to be real sturdy or to have some um, kind of heft to it, you want to use this thicker wire. And I'll have several of the different wires um, linked below that you can find on Amazon, but you can also buy them at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or even Walmart has some of the craft uh, wire in their jewelry section. Now this little uh, pair of pliers that I'm using, I actually got at the Dollar Tree in their little jewelry section. And so we are just following this continuous line art piece that I found. I just Googled uh, free continuous line art and um, found this one. Now for a bookmark, you want something that's going to have kind of those little curly cues in the center or around the sides because those are, that's going to be what holds the book um, versus some of the other projects don't have those and so they wouldn't make good bookmarks. Um, but this cute little bird, uh, I am just bending the wire uh, following the line art and for the corners I'm using uh, this little pair of, uh, they're kind of like needle nose pliers, um, but these are jewelry pliers. And um, so those corners, you want to grab a piece of plier, or grab a ply pair of pliers, <laughs> and, and you want to pull those, uh, pull that wire around the pliers, or pull the wire with the pliers, depending on um, your comfort level. Now it's taken me a little bit to get used to um, how the pliers kind of can help me mold the the different pieces of wire um, and then I when I get to the center I found it was just easier just to wrap a few loops around and then trim it down and then shape it to the shape that I wanted so I put those pliers down and uh, we'll cut this piece here in just a second and then once I've gotten the um, amount of wire that I need then I can shape it um, to this little curly cue uh, to finish off my little bird piece and I just think he turned out so cute and he is a really really good bookmark so there he is all squared away on the piece of continuous line art and here he is all up and close and personal and I th just think he turned out so cute so we're going to show you how he goes in a book you're just going to take him over to your book and you're going to slide that one piece over to the right under the page and pull him down and then he will just hold your page for you and that will bring us to project number two. I love this cupcake. So I am actually using a wire that is um, kind of flattened out, I guess. So it's not a traditional round wire. I found this at Michael's in the jewelry section and just thought it was so cool. Um, but if you want to use these white, this particular wire, then you have to find a piece of continuous line art that isn't going to have a lot of um, curly cues over top of itself. So if you'll notice, the only curly cue on top of itself is at the top of the cherry um, before the little stem comes out. 
and um, I just thought this would make a really cute piece to do like as a um, cake topper or a cupcake topper um, at the end you'll see what I do with it something a little fun um, but I am just going to use my pliers to make my um, bendy corners and the rest of it I'm going to do with my fingers and kind of hold the piece together and bring it around. Um, I find that uh, it's easier to do the, the uh, kind of swoopy bends um, with my fingers versus the sharp bends I like to do with the pliers. And here I'm just going to pinch that piece off so that I get that clear delineation between the cupcake paper and the uh, swishes that will make up the frosting on top of this cupcake. And I'll just um, move my paper around to make it easier to kind of bend those pieces and, and make it look um, like that continuous line art. And I just thought this copper color was so pretty. Now, another tip while you're doing line art um, with wire is you want to keep your wire in the circle. Um, it makes it much easier to move around your piece um, versus having a lot out, um, you know, in a line. And that's why I like the uh, wire that's in the round circles versus like a paddle wire or the wire that you can find on, um, oh, what are they, the, the s sticks or whatever. It, it's, it's kind of really tightly wound, but those wires are more for uh, like florals. So I'm just going to continue um, wrapping this wire up, and then you'll see when I get to the cherry, I am going to um, kind of do that little swoop off the paper. Now you've seen me do uh, different wire art pieces in some of my other videos and one of the things that I've learned in doing this is that um, the wire isn't really forgivable so if you pull it and you don't really like the way it turned out or the the shape that it's in um, you really only get the one or maybe two chances to get it right. After that, I've had to, you know, stop and, and just cut it off and start over again. Um, you know, and sometimes it helps to kind of trace the continuous line art piece with your finger um, first, just so that you kind of get a feel for the movement of the swishes and swirls and bends and, and whatnot before you actually put wire to it. Um, the, just one of my tips that I've found, but once you've got it here, I'm, I, you, you can see I'm trying to kind of get this piece straightened back out and, and it, it's not really wanting to move in the way I want it to move. Um, but I still think they turn out so cute, even if it, it's not perfectly straight and, and perfectly, uh, flat, but, um, here, I'm just going to finish this piece up and get this last little bit with the cherry stem. And um, since those are sharp edges, I'm going to bend that with my uh, pliers and finish up this piece. And I just think it turns out so cute. And, and I love the copper color and I, I love that this particular wire has more dimension to it than some of the other wires. Um, and the wire that we'll use next is different from this wire too. I, th I, I think I only used one of the wires twice in this, in this video this week. So you can kind of see all the different types of wires uh, that are out there and the different things that you can do with them. But once I've gotten that stem all situated the way I want it, then I will um, kind of show you what I've done with it. So here we are in some cotton candy, and I love the, the contrast of that watermelon cotton candy with the copper in this, um, but I thought it just made kind of a cute little cake look. And that will bring us to project number three. I love this parrot so much, 
and um, this is a wire that I got from Michael's no it wasn't it was Hobby Lobby in their Christmas clearance and it's a, a thinner wire but not as thin as the black wire we'll use next um, but you want to use thinner wires for the more detailed pieces and um, the thinner wires are a little bit more forgivable I guess than the thicker wires but you can see I'm gonna wrap that back up because I, I do like to keep it in its little circle shape um, as I'm bending it around uh, this continuous line art and um, you know you can do whatever continuous line art pieces you like and um, you know match with your decor or whatever look you're going for you know, I thought it might be really cute to make um, something for maybe dad or a grad or, like I said in the intro, even something that you could sell. Now, this particular piece, I, I did the wire piece um, and I wasn't sure how I wanted to finish out the project. So, I um, you'll see that I just found a, a piece of um, that hanging wood whatever stuff from the Dollar Tree and um, I, I thought it looked really cute on that. I, I'll probably go ahead and, and glue it down to that piece and that way it can be um, hangable, you know, wherever somebody would want to hang it. Um, and then, or you could, you know, decorate that wood piece with, you know, maybe some green background that, that the parrot would look good against. Um, you know, something like trees or leaves or, or something along those lines. Um, but I did not finish it off for this project, um, for this video. So just some suggestions of some things that you could do with it if you wanted to do the parrot. But I, I love the way he comes out in this bright red um, wire. And so we're just going to continue to do the little loop-de-loops for the feathers and the wings and um, kind of give him that look and then we'll go down to his tail feathers. Um, most of the continuous line art that you'll find, uh, you can see it, it clearly does have, you know, one line that starts and one line that ends and whether you start at the ending or end at the starting, it, I don't think it really matters much. Um, I, I like to choose whichever and I guess it's going to give me the prettiest start so that, you know, it helps bolster your confidence as you're doing this um, project and, and then, you know, move on to the more difficult piece. And, and sometimes I'll even do a, a little practice run through something. I'm not sure of how it's going to go um, with some scrap wire that, you know, I've already kind of messed up on a different project. So don't throw your mess ups away because you can use them as training tools for the next project. Um, but I, I've really fallen in love with wire art. I just think there's so many things that you can do with it and, and so many ways that you can customize it to different things. You know, I even thought if you made a small piece, you know, you could uh, glue it down to say a card you're making. Um, and I, I want to say that, you know, you've seen me make like a little bicycle for, you know, to go up next to a house in a, in a, um, wooden DIY. So, so many things you can do with the wire art and, you know, you just keep practicing and practice will make perfect. So here we're just finishing up the, uh, bird's feet and here is this wooden plank that I got from the Dollar Tree that I just set him on and I just think it just sets him apart and, and even if you did nothing other than you know fasten him down to that wooden plank I, I think he is gorgeous and that will bring us to project number four now this is one of the more detailed projects that I did um, and you want to use this is a 20 gauge wire but it's really thin uh, more of a kind of a necklace jewelry wire and um, that way you can you know get the really fine and tiny details of the plane and and of the little globe as you go and um, and the next project 
that I used this wire with, you'll see that it um, worked really well too. So um, I do these finer wires more with my fingers and then just kind of clip those um, sharp edges, not clip them, but you know, take it away from the paper and, and finish off those sharp edges with my pliers um, rather than, you know, actually moving the wire with my pliers. So I, I've found that, again, the, the, you know, bigger, sturdier wires that are 20 gauge or 18 gauge, um, you know, they're, they're easier to move with the pliers, but the tiny wires like this one, um, it's just easier to mold it around with my fingers than it is with the pliers. So we're just going to go around this plane and um, I do use the wire, I mean the, the pliers to kind of help me hold the wire uh, as it is sliding on that paper a little bit. And you'll notice in some of the pictures, um, you know, as I've fashioned the wire art onto the paper, uh, I'm actually rubbing the ink off of my print. Um, and they're just photocopied or printed on, on my printer off of my computer. So um, when you look for, you know, wire art, just, uh, or continuous line art, just Google free continuous line art and they'll have all kinds of things. Or you could even uh, draw your own. So some of these, uh, they, they didn't come out the way I exactly wanted it. And so I drew them myself. Um, that first little bookmark bird, I, I actually drew him myself. So you can do your own continuous line art and, you know, make a, another form of, of craft. And, and those are real cute to be uh, framed as well. So we're just going to continue fashioning this around the globe until we get all the way back around and then we will snip that off. And I am going to finish this project by putting it in a, a frame with some cardstock behind it. For purpose of the video, I just used a Dollar Tree frame, but it, I thought about um, making this a gift to give away. And uh, so if I were going to finish it off for that, I would probably actually buy a piece of cardstock maybe with uh, clouds or something on it and then um, use a nicer frame. Although the frame that I, I used, it, it wasn't, it was from Dollar General, I believe. And it was, um, it was actually, you know, kind of a nice frame. It, it wasn't a lot of frame per se, you know, it was more glass look. So it really was able to show off the line art uh, wire piece. Sometimes you have to watch out because as you're doing the little curlies and swirlies and whatnot, your, your wire piece that you're working on can actually get tangled up inside uh, the wire circle that you're pulling from. So um, I just shook it out and, and separated it and then just gave myself a little bit more lead uh, from my circle wire so that I'm, I'm not getting as, as tied up in it. But we are almost done finishing up the world. And once we get to that end, I will go ahead and uh, snip that off. Now I, for snips, I just use my little handy dandy tiny tin snips that I got from Harbor Freight. And that will finish off our project. And you can see I'm just going to adjust my little world a little bit, make sure that all the pieces come together. And I finished it with a little bit of Scrabble words, come fly with me. You can see this frame isn't, um, you know, real framey. It, it does allow the, the line art piece to, to really shine inside that with that blue cardstock. And that will bring us to project number five. I think this little guy is so cute. And I wanted to show you some other things that you could do with wire besides the continuous line art um, wire. So I'm going to take a little cork and I found one that didn't have any writing on it. And I'm just going to cut it down a little bit. It was a little too long for what I wanted. 
and then I'm going to take our wire and I'm going to uh, fashion up some glasses. Now this wire comes in a little roll like this from Michael's. No, this was from Hobby Lobby and um, it's in their jewelry section, but it was only 99 cents for this piece of wire. So that, and you can see there's a lot of wire there. I want to say it was uh, 25 foot or something. So I can, you know, get lots of projects out of that. Um, it's kind of, this one is a kind of an iridescent. They had all kinds of different colors, but I'm going to make a pair of square rimmed glasses here. And then we are going to use my little uh, pseudo cricket poker thing that I got from Dollar Tree. And we're going to poke some holes in the um, top of the cork so that we can poke our wires through. Um, if you don't, this wire is not stiff enough uh, to go into the cork by itself. So you'll want, you'll need to kind of pre-drill, if you were, holes. And I'm going to push it down, and I didn't get it down far enough, and so I'm going to have to come back in and, and do it again and go all the way down as far as I, I need to go for those glasses. Um, otherwise, I'll bend up the glasses trying to force it in there. So... Um, keep that in mind when you're when you're doing a project like this with the cork and the wire is that you'll need to you know pre-drill your holes so that you don't ruin what you've just fashioned with your wire and there's his little glasses now we're going to make him some arms and legs and we're just going to cut uh, four pieces of wire two for the arms the same length and then two for the legs the same length and you can, you know, trim them down once you decide uh, how they're going to look. But I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to fashion some little hands and uh, get hands on both of them and then kind of bend them at the elbow a little bit and use my faux cricket tool there, uh, weeding tool. It's a weeding tool and I am going to poke the holes in there and then kind of get the arms in the uh, shape I want them and, and in the location I want them. And I will uh, kind of reshape him when I get his legs on there. But uh, there we are with his little arms, his little hands. And now we're going to take our, our uh, pliers again and we're going to fashion him some little feet and I was able to make him stand, um, but he would probably be most sturdy with either uh, a heftier wire or um, by sitting him. And so I'm going to put his little feet in there, and um, then this project will be complete. Easy peasy. And you can do lots of little uh, wire art guys with, with corks, um, make them all kinds of different things. I thought about making this guy a little graduate, but I decided not to. I just wanted to show you some other things that you could do with the, with the wire and some cork. So there he is all standing till I bump the table. And <laughs> I just think he turns out so stinking cute and you can see you could you know put something in a hand he could be holding something or he could even play an instrument if you wanted and that will bring us to project number six this one i was amazed how well it turned out uh, i'm not gonna lie um, the eyes on that lady were a little more difficult than i've uh, than I thought they were going to be, and that it, it took me a little while to get it, and it, it really didn't um, have the exact look that I was going for on that eyeball, but I, I, I think overall the project turned out really cute, and I thought, you know, this would make a, a really cute uh, wedding present, or you could uh, fashion this and put it on a wedding card or an anniversary card, or it could be something for maybe Valentine's Day. Uh, you could, you know, fashion wire art names for the couple or um, 
you know, just so many things you could do with this particular one, but I, I thought it was really cute, um, and I uh, was really happy with how it turned out. So I will actually finish this one off into a, into a finished project and um, show you kind of what I decided to do with it, just, just real simple. So I am going to go over the eyebrow a couple of different times. You can see that it had a couple of lines back and forth. Um, and if I were to make it again, I believe that uh, it was supposed to go back and forth between the lady's eye and the man's eyebrow um, to kind of give that look so that there was only one line between their noses. Um, I'll actually end up with two. And when I glue it to my final piece, then uh, you'll see that I had to actually glue those together kind of on top of each other. Um, the way I finished it out, but it's still a continuous one line project. So um, I'm just going to finish the man's profile and and then come down and work on the heart, which honestly was the actually very easiest part of this project. Um, this one took a little bit more patience um, as things with lots of tiny detail do. Um, but I, I was real happy with the way it turned out. So I've only got one more project after this. Comment below and let me know which was your favorite project today and which one you think you'll try. If you stuck around to this point, I am so happy to still have you here. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. Share the video with a friend and give me a thumbs up. So my very favorite project of this whole video is coming up next. I saved it for last. And uh, so stick around and wait to see that one. So here we are. We are now coming around to the girl's side of things. And I always just like to kind of retrace my steps and make sure everything's still on target to look the way I want it to look. And... I'm coming in and doing her chin and lips and uh, the nose gave me a little bit of issue too. It, it, it was kind of a little more roundy than, than I wanted it to be, but uh, again, I, I really love the way the whole project turned out. So as I um, come up around the forehead and where her forehead meets his nose, I'm going to get to that eyeball piece and uh, I kind of wrapped it around and then I went back in and, and fashioned it a little tighter later, but I'm going to create a piece uh, with her hair that actually comes down and connects, um, well, the earring, I guess it is, and comes down and connects with her neck and um, then I'm going to take a piece of her hair as it comes together and I'm going to pull it around his forehead um, so that those still connect and stay together. And um, there it is, all complete. And so I'm going to take this little um, spring uh, frame thing that I found at the Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance last year and I painted it white and I'm going to glue them down in there and I just think it looks so perfect and it, it really would make a really cute gift. And that'll bring us to project number seven and this is my favorite. I love these wire art sculptures and so this is um, paper wire and I will also have this linked below. You've seen me use this before in other videos. And I am going to make the little girl's arms uh, connected to her shoulders and head. And then I don't know what happened to the footage. Uh, well, I do know what happened to the footage. I thought I clicked record, but I did not. So when I made her little dress, I did not record it. But um, you can see I just... I kind of dropped down uh, 
two straight lines and did a little wavy piece down at the bottom and then I pulled it to the side so that um, she's bent over and here is some uh, printed paper it's a printed card stock that I'm going to use for the dress and I'm actually going to cut out two of these one for the front and one for the back of her so she can be seen from either side and then I will take some craft glue and just glue around the edges of that paper wire and then we will put our dress on on the front and we'll flip it over and put the dress on on the back and lucky for us this little craft glue takes a minute to dry and so that will give us time to lift up her little dress and put her legs in after we get those fashioned here in just a minute. So I'm going to cut uh, two pieces of wire and wrap them around for her legs and um, that just gives them some extra sturdiness uh, so she's not standing on one little wire. And then we're going to take our pliers and we're going to create her some little feet and bend her at the ankles uh, so she can stand up. I'm going to use a little wood round for her to stand on. So you can see that hasn't dried yet. We're just going to add a little bit of craft glue in there and put our legs in and then we can bend them to the way we want them to look. And then I am going to start working on the little flowers for her to be sniffing. And so I've just got some paddle wire here and I'm going to cut four little lengths um, and I cut them all about the same size but I'll go in and trim them down so they're all different sizes and then I just have a, a little piece of flowers. I think those came from Walmart um, and I am just going to poke a hole inside the top and put the wire in there. And then once I've got all four done, then I will take my tiniest little drill bit and drill three holes into my wood round and then use some hot glue to set my girl and my little flowers in there. And then I'll take the last little flower and I will uh, put that in my little girl's hand as if she's either picking or sniffing that flower and then we will glue her down to the wood round and that will complete this project. I guess I also missed the part where I fashioned her little curly Q hair ponytail there. Um, but I just think she turns out so adorable and she looks so cute on my shelf. Isn't that so stunning? And that is the end of today's video, but I'm going to do a real quick run through of all of today's projects. So if you want to see them all again, stay tuned. And at the end, I'll give you a hint on next week. So here's our final look. There we've got our parrot. And then we've got our little bird bookmark and our little cork guy and our cupcake copper piece and our little girl with the flowers i just think she is so cute and then we have up above we have our little world and the airplane come fly with me and last but not least, we have our cute little wire art couple. Let me know below which was your favorite today. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Now, since you stuck around till the end, I have a hint on one of next week's projects. You will need some tumbling tower blocks. But until then, make it a great day and happy Tuesday. day!